Kirby, I understand your point. No, all of life is not worship. Like what I'm doing right now is not worship. Even what I'm doing right now is not worship. Is it service? Yes. All of life is not worship. We have an, an example from uh, Abraham. He said, I'm going to go off here with my ass and we're going to worship and then I will return again. I'm going somewhere. I'm going to worship. Do something that is worship. And then after that's over, I'm going to come back. No, all of life is not worship. Yes, all of life must be lived as a Christian should live. No, all of life is not worship. Uh, my point is worship is, uh, is our lives, so it's not and shouldn't be in connection to singing or instruments. Worship is an act of bowing down. Okay, bowing down doesn't mean... Bowing down means submitting. You have to obey God. As it pertains to what we're talking about, you have to do what he said as worship. Worship is an avenue. God offers us avenues, ways to reach him with our praise, with our worship. And if we don't go the way, the avenue that he offers us, we will not reach him. Sing, teach, admonish, whatever we do must be by the authority of Jesus Christ. That's Colossians 3, 16 and 17. Instruments aren't. They aren't. You can't do it your way. Well, you can do it your way, but you won't reach him. This is not a rhetorical question. If you love him enough to worship him, does it not make sense to love him enough to actually obey, to do what he asks you to do? We need to develop a healthy, reverent love and fear for God. That's John 14, 15. If you love me, you'll keep my commandments. Fear God and keep his commandments. This is the whole duty of man. It's why you exist. That's Ecclesiastes 12, 13. Once we develop a healthy, reverent fear for God, we don't say, oh, well, he didn't say we couldn't. No, what you do is you read and you say, okay, this is what they did. That's what Christians do by the divine pattern. That's what I'm going to do. That's how that works. That is bowing down before him. Yeah. I love you. That's why I do this. My name is Paul Mays and I am a Christian, a member of Jesus' church, not a denomination. The Lord's church, the one he promised would always exist. When he said, I will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Matthew 16, 18. That's the church I'm part of. That's what... Um, uh, Hayden is pointing you to by sharing this. Hey, God says to do this. We should do this. Yeah, we should be part of God. Now that is abiding in the doctrine of Christ. Second John 1, 9. If we abide in the doctrine of Christ, well, it says, he that abides not in the doctrine of Christ has not a God. He that abides in the doctrine of Christ has both the Father and the Son. If we abide in the doctrine of Christ, we will be the church of Christ. Yes, it is that profound and simple. I'm your servant. My name's Paul. I answer questions. Got a Bible Q&A for you, Messenger, if you're willing. Yeah, I'm your servant. Thanks.